span loop or the span loop knot. Hello everybody, welcome back and today's little exercise is putting a, another loop knot that goes into the bite of a rope but this one you don't see it very often I don't have found very little information out about it other than the fact is that it's really really easy to tie and even when it's been under load it is really easy to untie and so therefore in my opinion this is probably a pretty good little loop knot to know however I would say probably in comparison to the alpine butterfly if you're using that for safety purposes stick to the alpine butterfly not this simply for the fact is that this knot is easy to undo even when it's been loaded so anyway let's get on and tie this and what I'm going to do is I'll show you a tabletop method of tying this and then towards the end of the video I will show you a quick method of tying this little loop knot so anyway let's get on and let's get knotting okay so the first method of tying the span loop is going to be the tabletop method and then we'll go on and do the fast method and to tie it is really really simple so as you can see working ends going in opposite directions top and bottom and the first thing that I'm going to do is get hold of my cordage in the middle here and just put a loop in it so if you look here I'm twisting the cordage so that it now goes let's say it's going around over itself and then back down towards me so now that I've done that I've created that loop there and I'm just going to close it up a little bit because we don't need a big loop and the next thing I'm going to do in this piece of rope here what I'm going to do is I'm going to form a bite and now when we look at this the size of this bite here is approximately the size of the loop that we're going to have because this piece here is going to actually create the loop of our um, span loop so now that I've put a bite in there what I do now is I get and put a bite in that piece there so I've got a bite there a bite there and then the next thing I'm going to do is the bite this bottom bite here I'm going to pass it through that loop we created at the top there and then just draw it up so we can draw it up and for those of you who know the bell ringers not we've basically tied that there the next thing that I'm going to do now is this bottom loop here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and fold it underneath all my work so I've taken it folding it underneath and so it comes up at the top there and then the final thing that I need to do is this loop here so this top right hand loop here passes through this loop here and then pull it down and that's all we do and then pull it down and I've only made myself a small loop in here just dress it up nice and smartly and it will pull up nice and tight and there you go we can you can now see we've created a nice loop or a span loop in the bite of our rope here and to be honest put some loading on it you can load it up it will take loading it's supposed to be a fairly secure knot this one but the beauty of this particular knot is that even when it's been loaded it is really really simple and easy to undo so that was tying it the tabletop method and just let me lay it out and we'll go ahead and tie the fast tie method okay so as you can see once again in front of me I've got my rope and I'm just going to first thing I'm going to do is get hold of my cordage here and just put a bite in that cord at that point there the next thing that I want to do is I want to take enough cordage through and what we're looking for is what we take through here at this point will be our loop again so I'm going to take a little bit through and then once I've got a little bit through I'm going to then lay my bite over the top so take my bite lay it over the top like so and then all I'm going to do is just put my thumb underneath it and then twist twist it and there we go we've now created our bell ringers knot as such or for those of you who also recognize it the first part of a sheep shank so just let's tighten that up a bit so that bite now that's been created there we've got another bite down the bottom here or a loop and all I'm going to do now is take it around the back 
So I've taken my loop underneath, round the back, pass it through that bite there, and that's it. Then we just go up and tighten up, pull up on it, dress it up nicely, and it's easily adjustable. If you want a bigger loop, you can actually adjust it when the knot's tied. And so there you have it. Once again, what we've got here is we've got the span loop or the span loop knot. So if you like this knot, if you use this knot, description down below, no, sorry, in the comments down below, tell me about it. Let's have a chat about this particular knot. But personally, this one is so quick, so simple. I love it. So anyway, once again, thanks everybody for watching. Please do share these videos because it helps me and the channel out. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.